pants pulled up, record time starts, focusing in. And it's been a while since I did these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to remember how to do it. And by a long time, I think I did it, what, Wednesday? It's now Sunday, and again, if you didn't miss, if you missed out on the announcement for last week, I'm going to be doing all the videos for this week in consecutive order on a Sunday. So if you had any suggestions for a map, I won't get to them during the week. I will we'll end up recording them the following Sunday for the next week. And without further ado, let us first get into the game. But I need to take a sip again of this cold brew. <sighs> Haven't bothered with a glass. I'm just going to drink it straight from it. Here we go. And again, since we're doing the states on Monday, I keep forgetting about states because I'm an idiot. When I think, oh, M's, I can only, we got Minnesota, Montana, and Michigan, and I forget about Maine. Oh, then it's going to be Michigan right after that. Nope, forgot about Massachusetts. And it's just one of those things of thinking, oh, shit, you just don't think about it. <clears throat> and this is a weird one because it appears to be a single goddamn image, which kind of sucks. And I'm going to have to base my entire guess off of this one image. This is, to say the least, um, going to be bullshit. P-Town Hacks? What? Is this P-Town? What the fuck's that mean? P-Town's province town. Is this out of P-Town? Can't be. The only other P that seems to show up here is uh, Pittsfield over here. And if I'm going to go off of this image, which shows Massachusetts here, that's the state. Anyway, I'm going to click Pittsfield because that's all I've got. Uh, we're going to do a quick little... Uh, look-see at the state itself and its little stat, the stat of it. One of the first states in the Union, granted it was the sixth state admitted to the Union on February 6th, 1788. It's <clears throat> one of, if, if you're unaware of American colonial history, and if you're not, I completely get it because eh, it was one of the first areas in the on the North American coastline that Europeans would uh, land on is around uh, Mass, Massachusetts. Plymouth Rock, everyone talks about hanging out over here. Very uh, iconic landing site of the Mayflower. Um, you've got good old big city of Boston here. Home of many sports teams and awful accents. Uh, but we'll get into that as we talk a little bit more about the state itself. I'm just going to assume this is this is uh, Pittsfield. I'm sure it's not. But what else do I got to go by? Unless we're right outside Provincetown here, and it, maybe Seekonk? I don't know. Weird photo to first get. And this is Provincetown, which, you know what? I'm going to say it's Provincetown. Um... Some more quick rundowns of the state here. Capital is Boston, or as I like to sometimes say, because Boston had a uh, mayor. I think his name was Mayor Menito, or something along that lines. He was pretty well known for butchering words whenever he would do speeches or speaking events. I think he recently died. I think a lot of, like, he's kind of a loved guy, I think, in Boston, if I remember correctly. I haven't really thought about him for a couple of years, but. One of the things he was known for, instead of saying Boston, he would go Boffiston. You know, he would just add words to things. It was it was adorable. Um, capitalist Boston, it is the most populous state in New England. And if you're unaware of what New England is, so let's zoom out a bit. You've got Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. We needed to have our own little uh, special name. 
Oh, I nailed it. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't get another one of those again because that's that's a that's a weird one. Um, Massachusetts. Uh, I've been there a couple of times. Used to be a uh, place I wanted to move to when I was a kid. In that I wanted to live in a big city, and I thought closest big city is Boston. Let's uh, let's go move there. And it has been in the past couple of years that I've just kind of gotten over that. To say the least, I think it was two years ago when we went to uh, Boston. Almost got in a car accident because of a guy decided to look at his phone way more than the actual road. Like, we were, it was a, a February, I believe, when we uh, went down. We were driving out. It was kind of a shit rainy day when we were... Uh, heading back and we were one of the big major thoroughfares to get out of uh massachusetts and we uh had this car that was listing back and forth in the road in front of us uh, like in the lane in front of us slowly like coming into our lane and drifting out and he was doing that for a while and i like slammed the brakes honked the horn and i just look over and his phone is just on top of his steering wheel and he's just looking at it and I'd like to think that if you first came across that like issue and be like, oh shit, I almost got in an accident because I was doing this, I'm going to stop, but not this guy. I think maybe his logic was, I'm going to make sure that I'm extra vigilant to make sure this doesn't happen again. Well, no less than, we're on East 9, okay. No less than like 10 minutes later, I just see in my rearview mirror him sideswipe a guy right into a, they're called Jersey Barriers. And uh, it's, it's kind of just like this concrete divider, slam the car right into it. And I just sat there thinking the whole time, I was just like, oh, fuck, if I got stuck in that, how super pissed I'd be of just being stuck in this state, just trying to get home out in this absolute shit weather because of this dumbass looking at shit on his phone. It goes without saying of, hey, don't look at your phone when you're driving. It, sh it should just be common sense with people, but here we are. Um, Sidetrack done. I'm with that kind of done with wanting to live in big cities. They're expensive, loud. People just very much will yell at you without any sort of like second thought or pause at it. And you can just yell at them back, but what's that going to do? You're just, nothing's going to get done. You're going to get agitated. Or at least I would. Earth Dance? What the fuck? What the hell is Earth Dance? This is weird. Lane shift ahead. This is still Route 9, I believe. Yes, we're heading east on 9. Um, Hopefully... Route 9 is not a super long chunk of road in uh, Massachusetts. I'm just going to kind of put us in the middle here. But, yeah, most of the time coming down to Boston, you don't really deal with this part of the uh, state. A lot of people don't. Um, it's also known for having very old English as is the way to pronounce it and other people within the country when they see people pronounce places in Massachusetts and see how it's spelled they're like nah, that doesn't make any sense like this right here that's Worcester you could say or Worcester it's actually uh well we were pretty close just so um, control w just so you know um this is actually pronounced Worcester yeah, Worcester. Weird. We got a cemetery here. I don't see any signs. That is a huge headstone. Look at that thing. Gardner, Middle Brown. Interesting. Um, kind of over all over the place. Maybe mainly just because I've. We're the Siri the city of Lowell. Okay, we're in Lowell, Mass, which I believe is right outside Boafiston. Oh, there's Lowell. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna find out. I'm just gonna click like here on Powell Street just cause 
So, other anecdotes about this state. Um, that's the Bay State. Apparently, it's nicknamed. I gotta take a sip here. The Pilgrim State, Puritan State, Old Colony State, the Baked Bean State, Boston Baked Beans. Boston has their own accent. You know, Haba. It's like hard A's. Like hard. I'm probably going to pronounce it, like, describe this wrong because I'm an idiot. And over in the West Lawn Cemetery. Old Cemetery. Hmm. But I feel like. Wait, West Lawn? It's, it's right here, isn't it? Let me click here. West Lawn? Yeah. Um. They like pronounce their soft A super hard. It's how, this is like the dumbest way I can pronounce it. I think that's how I would say it. Like haba. It's like harbor, but they go ha. Burr. The Edson Cemetery? Okay. West Lawn Edson Cemetery. So I think we're splitting the two. Okay. Um, Boston, since it's the biggest city in New England, um, has sports teams. Got the Boston Red Sox, very well loved and hated teams. One of the two big teams when you think about baseball. Like, you can also think New York Yankees as well. Um, I myself as a Red Sox fan, I don't care so much about sports as I used to. Uh, football, one of the Perennial dynasties, I guess you could call in the past, since like the year maybe 2000, the New England Patriots. Um, it's, there's some other sport, Boston Bruins, some other sports teams there. Um, and apparently, reading on Wikipedia here, it's according to the World Population Review 2020 ranking, Massachusetts res residents demonstrated the highest average IQ of all U.S. states. It also has been ranked as one of the top states in the U.S. for citizens to live in, as well as one of the most expensive. It's home of some pretty good colleges. You've got Harvard and MIT. Uh, some of the best academic institutions in the world. You've got Boston Dynamics. If you've ever seen those robot videos of people like just abusing machines as they do work. Weird four-legged things. Um, it's really cool with, uh, excuse me, um, Adam Savage, if you know what Mythbusters is. It was a huge favorite show of mine. He's kind of tooling around on a uh, YouTube channel. He's had it for a while. And I guess they're being lent. Like, I don't know if it's a prototype of a uh, potentially, like, um, what's the word? commercial robot but they're like allowed to mess around with this weird four-legged little machine they have there which seems really cool and oh we were very close apparently not close enough i thought that would have been worth more points i feel we're going to do pretty well this time but we'll see um Anything about Boston Quick here? Um, yeah, it's like one of the main places that if you're going to learn about American colonial history, American history in any way, and like the origins of everything, it's one of the big places, at least the area of Massachusetts you're going to hear the most about. It's home of, I guess you could say, political dynastic families. Is if people pay attention to those things, you've got the Adams family, you know, do 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 do. That was a dumb joke. I'm sorry. Uh, the Kennedys, uh, if you're not aware of that, or who the Kennedys are, um, just do a quick little Google search. You'll see, and hopefully not have a tinfoil hat just appear on your head with some of that stuff. But on that same note, uh, podcast suggestion. I've been listening to them for a couple of years now because I guess I needed to say that before. I don't know why I said that. That's dumb. Like, oh, I've heard of these people. Like, I just just say the line. Is this a, another municipal truck? It could be. No, this is a construction vehicle. And 
Lanesboro? I don't think I've heard of that one. Let me see if we can get a little better. No, it's it's it doesn't look it. Alright, let's just keep going. Looking for a root sign. Hopefully I can see it. Nope, we're not getting it. Um, last podcast on the left. If you have Spotify, they're I guess exclusive to it now, and they're going through a pretty good so far. Just um story of the uh JFK and the whole ass assassination with him. Mostly dealing with Lee Harvey Oswald right now. Route 43, Hancock, Jimmy Peak, next left. Hancock. Where is that? I don't know. It's not popping up here. Root, did it say a route? Route 43. Okay, let's uh, zoom in a bit here. Route 43. I got a 49. Minute 26. I do see a 41. That is definitely not what I'm looking for. We got Donnybrook cop here waiting for someone to speed so they can uh, pull him over. Route 7. And we're going where? Lanesboro and Pittsfield. Okay, there's Pittsfield. So we're like here. Actually, we're up farther north here. Here's Route 43. Let's, uh, Hancock, Jimmy Peak. So we're like. There's Jimmy Peak Resort. Yeah, we're we're up like here then. I think I got it. Maybe like here? I'm gonna put us right there. Um elevation. The highest elevation is Mount Greylock, which is three thousand four hundred and eighty nine feet or one thousand and sixty three point four meters tall. 15th most populous state. Um, median household income, $77,000, which is fifth. We've got anything else real quick to look here. 44th in area. Really in that big. Um, no, we were extremely far south. I was off by quite a bit. I think we might do fairly well here. This is fall, probably mid-October, I'd say. But, oh, now it's no longer that. Can I see, what? what's this? No outlet. Okay, that doesn't help me. I want to get over there, so I'm going to try, because we have a church here. I want to get to the front of this church to see if this is actually Boston. Is this an abandoned church? A school of some sort, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. So this may be the Boston area. Let's see. This is a completely... Whoa. What? What happened? It's there. And now it's gone? What have what what? Did they finally tear all that down? Okay, all right. I want to see what this. It'll probably say. We've got the Polish Center of Discovery and Learning. Okay. We've got Holy Name of Jesus Roman Catholic Parish. I was hoping it would say. The. Uh, um. Town we're in, but it doesn't look like it. Elms College. I don't know where Elms College is. If I had to guess, it's outside of Bo inside of Boston somewhere, but I don't know. My, that's probably saying Elms College right there, although it's gone again because apparently they're going through construction here. Elms College. Here we go. Okay, just looking at it. Text. Our Lady of the Elms. Oh, I do see a banner. Is this going to stay in the, the banner? is gone. God, God damn it. Hmm. I just need a road with the banner on it. I feel like all the information is just out of my reach. I'm going to go back on this. Oh, wait a minute. Can I get... Oh, that. That's just mean. That is absolutely mean. 
Springfield State Historic Springfield Springfield Street Historic District. Aberon Springfield, which is not where the Simpsons are from. Springfield, Vermont, actually won that. Which is hilarious. Knowing if you know what Springfield, Vermont is, I doubt you should. Eaton College. What what college is Forest Park Middle School? That is not a college. I'm gonna put us there. Hopefully, find better information. This is probably Boston, just not Springfield. Springfield's a pretty common friggin' pretty common name. I did see a vote for sign. Assessor, that doesn't help me. Does this help me? Joe Morris said, does not help me. I've got 30 seconds. These uh, signs here don't tell me anything. Did I actually get over? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I actually talk anything about Massachusetts. Um, very metro, very aggressive. At least the city. This is a very Polish region of the state. I'm going to say it's Springfield and get it completely wrong because it's a suburb of Boston. No, I was actually correct. Holy shit. Where is it? Our Lady of the Elms. That's what it was. Anyway, did pretty well that time. Um, was a bit concerned after the first screen came up, but here we are. Anyway, I'm going to take a sip of coffee again because I have two more videos right after this. Oh, I forgot. I was going to mention before the video, but I'll do it right at the end here. Thank you all for watching. Again, recording these all at once. If you have a suggestion for a map, any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, Anything at all, put them in the comments below. Uh, thank you all for the messages the past week. Um, it's weird whenever I hear anybody talk about this type of stuff when I'm watching things on YouTube, when they talk about anybody like, hey, like the videos and any of that stuff. I'm like, eh. But I know it's, it's, it's pretty cool to see like, hey, I watch your stuff, even if it is one, two, three people, however many people actually say stuff. I'm just like, is appreciated. Just a one second you can take it out of a day. Just be say hi to somebody or thank somebody for something. It's pretty nice. And uh, again, thank you all for watching. It's appreciated for all the kind words over this past week. It was a rough one. Um, cancer does suck. And uh, hopefully, none of you guys have to go through this stuff yourself but if you do that's what you got friends and family for to uh lean on through this stuff thank you all for watching and we'll see you here on uh wednesday for another round of geo guessing i'll be here pounding sugar coffee or at least a lot of caffeine whatever i've babbled enough we'll see you on wednesday